Welcome to the GE Video Academy. This video will demonstrate configuration of the frequency reuse feature available on SD509+. The frequency reuse feature or system ID parameter as it is called in the menu allows a single frequency for simplex operation or frequencies for duplex operation to be used in neighboring networks without interfering with data transmissions between masters and intended remotes. To enable frequency reuse prior to field installation, open a web browser to the SD radio, Navigate to the basic settings window by selecting configuration, then radio. Choose the desired system ID the particular network will operate on and commit configuration. Repeat this step for all radios in that particular network. Note all radios in the network must have the same system ID. To enable frequency reuse on a prior field installed network, open a web browser to the access point radio. Navigate to the Setup Wizards and select Remote Management. Select Broadcast Config to Network as the destination. Select System ID for the selection. Click Next. Choose the desired system ID. Click Next. Review your choices and when satisfied, click Commit Configuration. Follow the on-screen directions. When the access point has finished sending this change to the connected remotes in the network, a status dialog box will appear stating, configuration command successful. Click done. At this point all the remote radios in the network will drop out of communication to the AP. This is shown by the signal level drop to minus 120. To fix this return to the access points web browser session and select change configuration on local device for the destination. Click next. Select the desired system ID. Note the access point must have the same system ID as the remotes in his network to communicate. Review the choices and click Commit Configuration when satisfied. Follow the on-screen directions. When the access point has completed the config change, the status dialog box will appear again stating the configuration command was successful. Select Done. All the remotes in the network should regain communication with the AP at this point. They will now display the proper signal levels. This signal level demonstration is only applicable to MAC mode. In other radio modes, the AP should be keyed and the signal levels read on the remotes after the AP has been keyed. Things to know. System ID none is backwards compatible and is required for networks with legacy products, for example, X710 and X790 radios. System ID zero, which is configured in X710 mode, is equivalent to system ID none in the web and serial menu systems. For all SD networks, utilizing the frequency reuse feature, system IDs of one through eight are available. Remember, all remotes intended to communicate with a master radio should have a system ID equal to that of the intended master. Note proper field installation of neighboring masters is required. For assistance with this, contact your factory representative. This example shows an improper installation using the system ID or frequency reuse feature. Note the APs are located too close to one another and all the remote signal levels are crossing each other's paths. This example shows a proper installation of the system ID or frequency reuse feature. Note the APs have been installed according to proper RF installation procedures and are spaced the correct distance apart 